question is like you are doing the first stock count okay there is a material material a you found 10 pieces of material or let's say two pieces two pieces of material a is found in the warehouse which is not added during initial stock upload okay so what kind of precautions you need to take to upload this stock for example during the stock count we found it this material a two pieces as a gain so what kind of how to get the value from where the value will come from for this kind of material and uh, what kind of precautions you need to take care before you post the differences someone can answer it the normal uploading stock i already mentioned that uh, that is initial stock balance but this one i am mentioning about the physical inventory during physical inventory they found some two pieces of one material and uh, the count is entered now the finance is going to post it before posting what kind of uh, precautions you need to take care during first stock take business has found a material of two pieces which is not part of initial stock entry so the material stock is zero so system stock is zero physical stock is two okay first time they are going to do so what kind of uh, precautions or what kind of entries need to be taken care not the print anyway they are following physical inventory process already they are going to post the gain that to first time gain that material was never procured that material was not part of initial entry balances need to block okay so the correct answer is yeah i think somewhat the question is coming uh, sangamesh 561 cannot be used again okay so once that uh, the old system balance sheet is already closed uh, finance will block that 561 related gl account so that will not happen again so the dark soul the person i don't know who was his name price is pulled from metal master record somewhat you are coming closer to the requirement two things you need to take care the first one is you need to ensure that the material master has the moving average price if not the material master must have the moving average price if you are managing with the moving average price let's take an example uh your company is managing moving average price the material master must have the moving average price if the moving average price is not maintained during material creation you have to add the price in first add add the price in mr 21 transaction first thing i want to tell second one first time you are going to add this material right you have to ensure that material material is extended to respective storage location okay material is extended to respective storage location or for example at least activate or 
automatic storage location for moment type whatever the moment type we are do doing that one for that moment type you need to activate it i am going to show you that mr21 we all like mr21 in this mr21 transaction you need to add that company code plant and for the material you have to add the price or else you have to extend the material to the respective storage location with mmsc transaction without doing this kind of extensions and all there is a configuration go to spro reference img material management inventory management and physical inventory goods received create storage location automatically in this configuration go to movement type okay 7 11 or 7 0 1 automatic creation of storage location for example you are using the wm related things that you can activate those things and uh, create purchase order automatically so here you, you can activate that one if you are available or else first of all you, you can uh, consider those two things for example the wm we activated recently this one okay automatic creation of storage location so main thing is you can do these two things you can mainly highlight one is the price mr21 you have to maintain the price if you are not having the price during material master second one is the material must be extended to that respect to storage location if these two things are happening then system will automatically post the two pieces with the price what you have given okay so those two prerequisites need to be taken care otherwise what will happen if you are not extended system will throw error while you adding the stock or if you are not given the any price system will take zero as a price and these two pieces will be uploaded uh, like, like two pieces of stock will be added with zero amount okay that's the those two things you need to take care second question do you know the difference between mi10 and uh, mi07 let me tell you that what is the difference between mi10 and mi07 mi07 so it's like a part of complete inventory process like creating a physical inventory document and print it and enter the count after that check the differences and post the difference against the physical inventory document so mi07 is a part of our regular physical inventory process where we do the systematic creation of document and print enter the count then post the differences this is ma07 so ma to do ma07 to post the differences you must have a physical inventory document in hand what is ma10 ma10 is a transaction where the document count everything will happen in the back end it means you don't have to create a physical inventory document in advance you don't have to go for a count you don't have to take a print out and you don't have to go to count ma10 will be used very rarely they know that this material is available as an extra or this material is available only three pieces so at uh, special cases directly finance can use this transaction to enter the material like first the plant location the material and the quantity they have to enter that available quantity and post it so system will automatically create a document in the back end and it will post the differences that is the difference between mi10 and mi07 mi07 needs a physical inventory document to post the differences mi10 doesn't need any document system will automatically create the document during posting so ma10 is like a see here the name itself it will count 
and post the difference everything will happen within one step the regular cases are regular physical inventory ma10 will not be used in very special cases it will be used okay just for knowledge purpose because if you show to any audit you have to have a record of we created inventory document on um, november 10th and uh, november 10th morning 9 o'clock and we printed at 11 o'clock and uh, the all the warehouse members are uh, collected the count and they have submitted at evening 5 pm so at we entered into system at 6 pm okay so the differences are posted at somewhere uh, counted everything is done differences may be posted that day night or else the next day by the finance so all these records can be kept and to show to the audit the supply chain audit team will be there right based on most of the supply chain guidelines every company has to conduct a complete stock take process for at least once in a year few companies may do every month few companies may do once in a six months or once in a quarter okay few companies will do that high cost and slow moving materials once in a one one year or once in six months but uh, fast moving or certain kind of materials they may do uh, slowly like high cost most they do frequently low cost or um, slow moving materials they do once in six months or once in three months okay based on the company's practice and uh, the based on uh, the losses what they are getting always between system stock and physical stock okay i hope it is clear now okay so let me tell you one business requirement if anyone came to our channel for the first time click on subscribe button and hit like button before you leave the live or if once you join the live so that we can understand that how many people joined so this requirement is like the business has asked you that if the invoice amount is more than 100 dollar okay compared to po amount it should give error messages so it should it should not allow it should not allow posting invoice how do you manage this business requirement you can read the question again it is on the screen also if the invoice amount is more than 100 dollars compared to po amount for example po is let's take 2000 dollars po invoice has come as 2150 dollars the business is asking you to not to allow to create invoice 2150 dollars so how do you provide the solution okay. there is a configuration spro reference img material management logistics invoice verification invoice block set tolerance limit so normally the set tolerance limit as per sap standard it will be a warning it will only block for payment but we need to make it you can take this one pp price variance here you have to select this absolute upper limit okay select close limit check limit and give 100 dollars okay after that there is an sap standard message m8082 so the message is 
m8082 messages change from warning to error okay so change this message from warning to error and uh, keep here in the configuration as $100 so system will check it and also when it is crossing that $100 system will automatically whatever $100 or whatever your company code currency so based on if you euro or uh, INR whatever the limit so system will throw error it will not allow the finance member to post the invoice itself then what they have to do they need to check with vendor and if it is already accepting then they need to go to the purchase order and change the price if the goods receipt is already posted the goods receipt need to be cancelled first then change the PO price to from this um, 2000 to 2150 and then post the goods receipt and post the invoice receipt so that is the answer no need user exit and all so this SAP standard configuration will only block for payment but it will allow you to post the invoice but if you keep that error message then they cannot even post it ok next question for example let's take it about uh, normal blocking concept leave about this error message you put the 5 percentage tolerance and 100 dollars 100 euros here euros ok 100 euros for example one PO 5 percent is equal to 80 euros for that PO and here the limit is 100 euros ok when you post the invoice if your PO and invoice amounts are like this PO is 2000 dollars invoice is 2090 dollars now whether system will block the invoice or not this is your limits you put 5 percentage and 100 euro both you put it but 5 percentage of that PO is 80 ok let us go for more closer 5 percentage is 80 means 160 1600 ok PO is 1600 inverse has come as a 1690 that is more accurate for this example 5 percentage of 1600 equals to 80 dollars ok Hmm. now you answer the question your 5 percent is and 100 euro you maintained both in configuration 5 percent is and 100 but your PO amount is 1600 dollars and invoice has come as 1690 when you are posting invoice system will block that invoice or it will normally make it ready for payment means free per payment anyone is answering yeah it will block the invoice because system always give the lowest amount as the top priority so although it is not crossing 100 euro ok let us put it euro ok although system uh, the invoice amount is less than 100 but it is crossing that 80 the 5 percentage so system will block the invoice so when you are maintaining both percentage and amount system will consider both of them and it will give the top priority to the amount which is the smallest here the smallest is 80 so it is giving the priority ok so I hope it will be helpful for you